Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I'm working on the Winter's Bliss, a Winter Bliss, I always say Winter's, it's Winter Bliss. This was a collaboration between Norella and I that I did last year for a subscription box. I still have the digital download in my shop, so I thought I would use it to make a journal this Christmas season. And I've got a few supplies laid out, so let's get started. Right off the bat, I've got some little sequins or snowflake uh, confetti. Depends on where you're from, what, you, what it looks like. But it's basically a plastic material. And if you've tried to glue this to items, some glues won't stick. It just pops right off. So what I'm going to do is take the best glue ever. My bottle is very beat up but it doesn't take very much i'm going to put a little drop kind of a little circle of a drop right there in the center and i'm going to set this aside i'm going to do one more because i plan to use this later on in this tutorial and the reason why i'm doing it is because if i put that glue on here the best perf the best glue ever by scrap perfect i have a link in the description box below you can let it air dry and then the embellishment will stick. So if you've got those hard to stick embellishments, try the best glue ever. All right, so in front of me, I have some text weight colored copy paper, if you will. Years and years ago, I used to do newsletters for a couple of organizations and I had colored paper, so I saved it. And now I'm trying to go through my stash and use those things up. So look at that old paper that you have. You know, it may be grungy or it may be torn or scuffed. We'll get it out and use it anyway because once we distress it and add all the embellishments to it, it's going to look like it was that way on purpose. So I've got the Snowflake stencil from the December Stencil Club here. And that is a monthly stencil club that I offer in my shop. So if you're seeing this in January and you really want this Snowflake stencil, just head over to my shop, add this to your cart, and say in the comment field, I would like the December as my first month and I will send that. Or any other month that you look at those stencils. If there's one that you saw and you want to go ahead and get that as your first one, just let me know. I've put it in a box just so that when I spray with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, it doesn't go everywhere. And I've got the Christmas Peacock. It's a purple with a gold and a little bit of a pearlescent, or pearl, not pearlescent, pearl shimmer to it. So it's got a lot of mica in it. And I'm going to spritz this all over the stencil. I've got a piece of just copy paper. I'm going to lay that on top of the stencil, trying to line it up as best I can, and then press it down. And what I'm doing is I'm mopping up that Tattered Angels that's on top of the stencil. And now I'm going to get two designs out of one spraying. I am going to go ahead and spritz the backside with some of the same Tattered Angels so it'll have a shimmer on both sides. So here is my mop-up page and I'll have a second tutorial won't be it'll be a tomorrow that you can see how I use this to create a journal page I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and spritz the other side with a little bit of tattered angels isn't that a beautiful design I'm gonna dry this with my heat tool really fast so that I can move on I've got some elements that I want to add to this page. I know I'm going to put this fussy cut element from the Winter Bliss. I've added some tulip dimensional glitter paint on there. See how it shimmers? And if y'all don't know what that looks like, let me grab a bottle. And it is tulip glitter dimensional fabric paint. It's usually $3.99. And I've just put a little bit all over to give that some shimmer. So that I know I'm going to use on here. And I think what I also want to do is some rubber stamping. So I'm looking at this. I've got the Christmas time rubber stamp here. And if you've ever had a very detailed rubber stamp that it didn't come out very clear when you stamped it, put a little bit of fun foam right behind where you want to stamp this. And then go ahead and ink up your stamp like you normally would. And you'll get a better impression. I'm using Archival Ink Jet Black. And this is called Christmas Time, I think is what it is, from Beeline Designs. It's a stamp that I have in my shop. And I'm going to go ahead and just stamp this up here in this upper corner. I just love this little vintage sign. Isn't it kind of cool? While I'm at it, I've got the word Believe. And that's another stamp that I offer in my shop. 
Now I'm going to stamp that over here on this side. So we're starting to get our page built. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over because I want to stamp on this side. On this side, I'm going to stamp the um, Twas the Night Before stamps on the page. So I'm going to head and inking this up. And I want it almost to the corner, but not quite. So I'm going to drop down just a little bit from the corner and stamp. See how that looks? Looks pretty good. All right, and then I've got a snowflake border that I want to use. So let me rearrange here. All right, so I've got Mermaid Lagoon, and I've got the snowflake border. Move some stamps back. And I'm going to ink up this snowflake. And I'm going to stamp it all the way around on this journal page. It's starting to come together. You can see that I've got, you know, the snowflakes going all the way around. So now I've got the little snowflake. I think this is from, oh, Festive, Festive, oh, Festive something. Oh, I just forgot the name. Dang it. <laughs> I'm going to use the same Mermaid Lagoon and stamp it just randomly on the page and I like that I can stamp it more than once and you get a kind of a faded look to it and it's light enough that you'll be able to write over it. I'm going to go ahead and fold my page in half as I want it to be designed. So now that I have all the stamping done let's start assembling and adding things to the page. So I've got this little tuck spot so I thought it would look really cute right here in the corner. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue on this edge and then down here and put that right here. And then this little card is going to go in here. Okay. I'm going to flip this over for now. And I've got a pocket that I want to put over here. And I've made a layered pocket because I made a little tag using one from the kit. And these are some words. It's a digital download that Norella offers. And I've made a tassel. If you look at day 11 of Junk Journal Gift Ideas, I'll have the description in the, the link in the description box below. I've made a little tassel and I've added some jingle bells and a little charm. Well, when I put this in the journal, I want this part to stick out just a little bit. So in order to do that, if I put this pocket down here, it doesn't fit. So I'm going to put a secondary pocket on the page. So I'm just kind of gauging this where I want it to lay and right about there. And then this is going to go on top of it. So I'm going to mark this so I know where it needs to go. So I'm just going to mark a line because that's where I need it to stop so it doesn't go up too far on the page. And this was a scrap of cardstock that I had that I sprayed with Tattered Angels and I used the same snowflake border. And now I'm just going to glue across the sides and bottom. And then we're going to line it up and put it down. I've got a little paper doily here and I thought to help fill this little void right here is I had put a doily in there and if I fold this up just a little bit and place it at an angle like so, then it'll make a nice little backdrop for my little blue jay here. So first what I'm going to do is use some distress ink and kind of add a little bit of texture or color to this. Then I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to put little dots and lines on the doily here so that I can glue this shut. All right, then I'm going to kind of look at this and figure out, okay, what's the best way? And I think probably something like that. So I'm going to use my pencil again to kind of mark a line. So I know that's where I want to line up my little doily piece. <laughs> There's always a way to figure this out so that you can glue it back down in the right order. So I'm going to go in here and add glue to the back side of this and then place it on my page. All right, so I've got that placed. So now I'm going to put this little pocket that's part of the kit on the page. Right about there, I think. Just kind of lining it up with the edge. It has little tabs. So I'm going to glue right on these little tabs and then place it on the page. And I've got this little saying or sentiment. I thought it'd be kind of cute just put on the page. So I'm going to put it across the top up here. 
I've already gone around the edges with all these items with distressed ink walnut stain. All right, it's coming together. I've got a little scrap of a gel print that was made on a book page. So again, this is like leftover bits. I'm gonna fold it in half. I don't know how big it is. Let's look and measure it. It's about an inch and a quarter by inch and three quarters. So I fold it in in half. I'm gonna grab my corner chomper and chomp two corners on that edge. So you can see there. And then let's use some distress ink and go around the edges. And I think I'm gonna put this down here on the bottom of the page. So I'm just gonna put glue on the inside here and glue it down. So I just like to line it up just a little bit where it's sticking out, just a tad, not a whole lot. So now I've got one of my snowflakes from earlier and I'm gonna place that right on here, okay? This is gonna go up here and then this one's gonna go in here. So let's flip this over. I'm gonna put another snowflake over here. And then prior to the video, I put a little bit of the best glue ever on some little flat black rhinestones. So I'm gonna put one right there, and then I've got another that I'm gonna put right here. So there is my journal page using, you know, the old copy paper, colored copy paper, rubber stamps, stencils, tattered angels, calco collage, digital images, some rhinestones, and some sequin pieces. I think it turned out pretty cute. I hope you liked this little quick tutorial. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Come back and see me tomorrow for my next tutorial. And remember, I'm live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. and on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Mondays, we make junk journals. Thursday, we do mixed media. It's perfect time to come and hang out and fellowship, as well as ask questions while I create live. I also have door prizes, if you will, just for showing up. We uh, have little drawings throughout the live stream. All right, everybody, check the description box below for the products that are listed. Do check out the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group as well as by Linda Israel. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.